What's the most cursed formal nation that you can think of? If it's not a communist Roman Empire, seek help immediately. Today, we commit heinous crimes against EU4 and form Rome as an Aragonese peasant republic. This was also the most painful recording session I've ever done, so I feel like EU4 had the last laugh here. If you want to join the Roman commune today, then be sure to like the video and subscribe. Okay, so coalition-wise, we have um, everyone, but that's okay. Uh, I think right now, the only guys that don't uh, have a coalition, well, aren't in the coalition against us and don't have a truce against us is uh, the Mamluks, which we need, because we need this stuff for uh, Rome. So, to clarify, what we need that we don't have is all of this stuff here. We need to take a province off of Great Britain. We need some stuff down here, the rest of the Ottomans, I believe. We don't actually need all the Balkans, we just need this sort of stretch here. We can actually get away, provided the Commonwealth don't take this province that they're absolutely going to take. We, we can get away without fighting the, the Commonwealth a single time, but they are going to take it, realistically. We also need to take the rest of France. So without further ado, let's go up against the Mamluks. Now, it's been a little while since I last played this one, so I need to bring in my troops from around the world. Oh, and everyone immediately leaves the coalition against me. That is incredibly convenient. Now, what do we spend our money on? Those many factories. Okay, the provinces I need, I think I need Al Qahira. I need this province. Don't need the Sinai, but I need these. No, not this one. I need this one. Doesn't look like I'm gonna get it done in one war. But for the most part, we can get a lot of it done. I am tempted, in fact, to do this, then get bored with Karakanulu and go immediately against them. It's gonna take a little while for my troops to arrive. I'm also starting to think that I should uh, build more forts. I know it's heresy for me to say these things, but I think it's a good idea. Ideally, I want to get this done before 1650, because then I don't have to worry about cannon stacks. Okay, I definitely need more forts. <laughs> no, just please. Do not resist, you're just gonna make it harder for me. Okay, where are you landing? Yeah, I'll wait for you to lock in. Sorry, I got something stuck in my throat. I think it was... <coughs> yeah, I'm definitely choking on something. Yeah, it's the the idea that some of you aren't subscribed and are still watching this video. I was legit choking, I just thought that on the fly. God, I'm talented. <laughs> Christ, like... I don't think my troops are amazing. Um, well, actually, they're, they're pretty pretty good, apparently. Where are the other forts down here? Put my cantalism up. Yeah, I'm just gonna put my cantalism up to 100%. Why not? Almost Rassid. Oh, genissary roll. Nice. Dina, can I have access, please? I just want to go after the Rassids. Oh, you actually give it to me. Nice. It's surprising. But appreciated. Appreciated? Appre appreciated. Look, I'm kind of off the, uh, the back of a jiu-jitsu tournament, so my brain's not exactly in the right place right now. I wasn't planning on shilling today, but uh, if you want to watch the full thing, you can. If you become a member today, you get several perks like stuff like that. Yeah, my truce of France is up. Might as well, right? I'm gonna assume we'll win that. I'm gonna put a general I'm getting super cocky. Three-star general. I've got low morale. No worries. It's light worries, but you know, for the most part, no worries. Did we already take Paris? We did. I haven't even gone to Chartres yet. Okay. All right, to, to Calais, I guess. Wait, what's, what's stopping me? Okay, uh, that's all we want from the man books. <laughs> <laughs> don't know why that confused me so much. Uh, I don't think I need to run all my men back. I kind of want to just keep on gunning forward. Uh, we have planes, so why not? What, what have a truce against you? 82? Okay. Then I'll add to the Mamluk, to the Ottomans then. Okay. A spare colonist. Oh, it's a merchant. Uh, what do I do with him? Uh, you're transferring, you're transferring. Down here's transferring. I'm assuming the New World's also transferring. Yeah, Caribbean. Our colonial subjects. Those over here. No, no desires for a colonial game. Oh, it brought us over a hundred. That's so lovely. Not really worth it to us. Why Scotland here? Oh, my vassal. <laughs> I just... <laughs> Don't understand how half of this stuff is working. Sure. It's been that long. Okay, let's... Grab ourselves a map mode that I never use, which is the truce one. I okay, don't need anything from Switzerland or any of you. I think I need... Okay, 82 is when the next big war kicks off. And apparently now as well. Who's in this war? Fars, Gujarat, Kazakh. I mean, I have Crusade. Nice. Austria would come into this war as well. Right, so let's focus on the French war a little bit. Uh, that's a lot of troops to be doing nothing. Why don't we move into there? Yeah, Oliver Connors move into there. Let's go murder some French troops. That always cheers me up. I have over 100%. All right, after this next tech, we are going to have to start chucking full back rows of uh, cannons. Uh, I'm thinking I'm not going to go too wild with it just because the supply limit isn't going to allow for it. So usually you'd have like a cannon stack and I want all of my armies to be independent of one, of one another, be able to sort of engage um, without having to wait for cannon stacks just because it's going to make my life a lot easier when fighting. But if I have to, I will. All right, that's the French also done. We don't need all this dip for power, so I'm tempted to create a client state over here. We do have some, well, we don't really have that many lands we need to take. It's probably best to create a client state out of these lands. Okay, I need to send an army all the way to Kazakh and also Gujarat. All right, send one to Gujarat. Fortunately, his capital's not protected by a fort. One to Gujarat, one up to Kazakh. More separatist sentiments. 
In fair, we do have 259% over extension, but I do understand where they're coming from. I thought that's a 323,000 for a second, but no, it's just 33. All right, now we just send everyone around to deal with the rebels. Now, at this point, anyone I don't have a truce with is, uh, is getting attacked. Uh, I need to just make sure I'm not growing any potential coalition. Don't lose any battles, please. The Briz, I think you're a really pretty color. Can you please give me access? Thank you very much. Just can't lose any battles. That's the key part. I am just going to chuck troops in blindly, though. We've reached that stage of the game, chaps. All right, where are you retreating to? Yeah, come on. Where are you retreating to? Let me know. Nope, to Briz. You've stopped retreating now. Now you're just running. Okay, there we go. Wondering why I have so much manpower. I'm just burning on professionalism uh, by slackening our recruiting standards. It's a very useful tool. And when you have a surplus of military power, you can sort of perpetually increase your army tradition. How old is this guy? Been a 666 for a while. 64. Still don't have to take more score. And now should do. Tempted to give all this to Byzantium? I mean, might as well, right? I'll take it myself first. Oh, I could have taken almost everything. Yeah, I think I do need these these three provinces. You know what? There we go. There's four. Yeah, I, I'm not going to try and reconcile with the guys that just didn't want to ally me. I need their land now anyway. They'd have been perfect allies, but hey, if you're dead, why not? All right, just granting them all these provinces. And they can't because they'll take too much overextension. Overextension's okay. Look, we'll we'll teach you that one one day. Okay, 82 is when the truce with most of these guys. I need to get rid of Commonwealth in that time. Moscow doesn't want to join because of 3,000 ducats in debt. Should have just said, man. I mean, I have a couple of extra just for fun. There we go. Not gonna lie, I was worried one of those pop-ups was that they joined a coalition. Oh, there's a coalition. That's interesting. Army wants to trigger it. You wanna become a march? You're not gonna do anything. You're gonna be too big. But sure, okay. All right, first battle is ours. Well, the allied to the Commonwealth. Ah, it's convenient. Turns into a bigger war than I was anticipating, but it's still convenient. Turns into a much bigger war than I was anticipating. Okay, um, if we're going for broke and going under the understanding that we're going to have a coalition no matter what, let's just take all the land. All right, screw it. You want me to be the bad guy, I'll be the bad guy. He says, actively conquering most of Europe. Oh, right, yeah, rebels. Uh, go around and do all that sort of And here it is. All right, I face a choice. Some of these guys are in the coalition, some of them aren't. Then I don't need to deal with Britain ever again. I also need Venice, a lot of Venice. Let's do that before they join. I, I should have co-belligerented Hungary. Then I could have taken everything I need. I'll just self taking most of everything that I need. I needed to attack East Friesia. Yeah, that was a mistake. Okay, we do find ourselves in quite a few wars. Grab the Grand Company so I can fight the English with it. Take Spoleto, take Florence. I'd be surprised if my aggressive expansion dips below a hundred percent after this war. Maybe the most stable you see my nation. And that's not altogether that stable right now. This guy's still alive? How? All right, we have to take out the Venetians because otherwise they'll take out my ally, the Austrian. That's unpleasant. 110% discipline. All right, mate, calm down. Christ. I could take life of my colonies. I really feel the need to, though. Legit just want York. And now that I've said that, strip down the middle kind of looks cool. I'll take a strip down the middle. All right, defend Vienna. I need to use a grab. All right, that's the Hungarians. There you go, the paper suit and the PLC. I only needed that one province. I didn't really need anything else. All right, we take another... Government reform. Board of Admirals. Manpower recovery speed could be useful at this point. Morale of armies. Yeah, we're not doing that. Ooh, actually. No, elections only co and ruler dies. That gets rid of all of our point generation. Board of Admirals seems useless. Let's go citizenry. We're going to stack that morale. Uh, actually, no. Look at our manpower. We don't need better troops. We need more of them. That one event gets rid of the rest of our bloody troops, doesn't it? Our manpower reserves. Austria accepted peace. Understandable. And they break our alliance with us. That's annoying. Um, we kind of had... They, they, I mean, yeah, they'd fulfill their usefulness at this point. All right, the Brits agree. We take a few more provinces. Now it's just the Venetians. Now this I will make a client state for. He made a class war in Hungary. Or I suppose the desiccated corpse of Hungary. No, he's dead. Oh, oh my God, that's a lot of separatists. Okay, right, you guys head over there. Now those were in Mila? Where's Mila? Where, where's, where's Mila? Oh, like Milan. All right, chaps, we have a lot of rebels we're going to be dealing with now. But that's okay. Oh, crap. I don't know why I'm being so aggressive. I have time left in the game. It's only been a hundred years. This is wholly unnecessary. All right, I just need to station troops in every corner of the, the empire. Simple, right? And now we need to rejig our army. All right, we can secure the peace. And in doing so, let's get ourselves a client state. Just called the Republic of Italy with a white flag. All right, let's give it all these provinces that I don't want to deal with. Don't win that, please. Excellent. Well, I'm very lucky there. All right, and let's go help out our buddies. I think that's the worst of it done. No, it's not at all. We are going to have a hellish few years, chaps. Oh, I had troops here the entire time. Oh. Was everyone not in the co- No, everyone, every, everyone is in the coalition. Planning out next moves. Looking at the map, we still need most of France. We've got everything over here. We need Zealand, France. A couple of provinces from the Mamluks. No, actually, do we? 
yeah, just like three or four promises from the Mamluks. Two promises from the Ottomans and a couple from Mushasha. Actually, one more from the Mamluks and Karakinulu. So Karakinulu, Ottomans, France, and that region, which is going to be a mess. We're good to go. Like I said, I don't want to rejig our armies now. we we'll have to wait until we have manpower to do it. I think I've added all the provinces I need to add. But another merchant collecting it. I have the most amount of trade. I should be doing that. Instead of the Mississippi. What do I make from trade right now? 204 ducats. Another 20 ducats there. If there are any other possible rebels that can rise up. All right, and everything's being called. Uh, I think I might integrate Scotland. No point to them, is there? Out of curiosity, if I wanted to attack the coalition, they'd have about a million men to my... Or 300,000. I could do it if I had full cannon stacks. So maybe we focus on that. And then we just fight the coalition. Might seem big and scary, but honestly, like, honestly we should be okay. Um, our manpower is really low for what we needed to be, though. If we're going to fight a coalition, we need to be a lot higher than that. Combat width is 30. So at least 20 widths. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of an interesting one. Kabil separatists. They should not be there. This method is going to result in me having entirely too many cannons, but now that everyone's upgrading to um, level 4, it's kind of necessary. The truce with Austria. Shame Bohemia wouldn't come in. But we need Vienna. We also, I think we need Trieste? No, we need up to here. We don't actually need any of the Austrian lands. We need Bulgaria, though. Damn, that sucks for them. And we just tear through people now because we have cannons. Yeah, supply being the main issue. Yeah. Interesting. Karakini leaves the coalition against three troops, well. I mean, we need those lands anyway, so. Where were these guys meant to go? Okay, they meant to go over here. Why did they leave the coalition against me? What the hell happened here? <laughs> Why are you losing the Transoxiana? Dude, Muscovy, what is this about, man? Muscovy don't even have one of the largest armies. I thought they would have. Muscovy have 32,000 men. Oh, we're the paper controller. I didn't even realize. I'm nervous about finding that three star general. Especially not with our finest fighting force, but it's fine. I'm also going to get rid of the mercenaries. We're not actually using them. There's a truce that wore off. Okay, we need to be working on that. Go ahead and melt this lot. There we go. And melt this. Like I said, our troops aren't fantastic, but there is enough of them. Which is kind of what matters. Enough of them with a solid backline of cannons. We need to be fighting... All right, yeah, Karakin, right, I'm fighting Karakin Ulu. Uh, I don't need to take all the land. I just need to take... Hang on, no, let's, let's get this right. Two... Up to here. These, these, these lot down there. Fighting Croatia. It's a lot to do, man. I think we do need something. No, we don't. I don't know what we need. I, I, I need Vienna. Is that Vienna? I assume it's Vienna. Surely, right? Why else would there be something? Yeah, we'll just, we'll just go for that. I need more later. I'll tell you more. Right, we need to time this truce. Is, ah. My friend Koifish says, Vafan! Because what I could do is a series of... So I fight the coalition once. Then I do a series of truce breaks. Because uh, realistically, I don't know that we're burning off like 300 aggressive expansion. We're going to have to fight it off, which I am not looking forward to. But there's no rush to do that. It said the truce ended with France. Why can't I declare war? Okay, I can. I don't think we're going to need these guys here. Let's bring them home. Go fight you. Okay, that'll get most of France done. You're there for Croatia. You're here to deal with that lot. You're going to go into Iran. Meanwhile, Moscow's fighting a death war, <laughs> not participating in. The French side of things has gone a lot quicker than the other ones. Uh, we are approaching, I think, the 150 year mark. It's not bad for 150 years. <laughs> We have unified Europe against us. Right, well, the British can join the coalition. I don't much care about that. The reason they kind of do care about it. Probably should have declared on them. More mistakes and misplays. It's very late at night. I lost all my claims on France. That's... Okay, well, whilst we're here, they land from Hungary anyway. Another war. <laughs> the population must be sick of this. Either they're like 100% fanatical. They're like, yeah, we're peasants' republics, trying to unite the world in our peasant republic ways. Or they're like, dude, why? Ah, oh, it finishes this war. Technically, we lost it. We'll send back another stack to go and help out in uh, Eastern Europe. I think this war in the east over here is pretty much done. Uh, before we go, though, let's just go ahead and make sure. Well, the took a while. All right, and then after these four wars are done, we're going to need to rest for a while uh, to gear up against the coalition because they will be fighting us. Presumably also the Commonwealth will as well. All right, that should be you done. There's literally nothing I want from you. Uh, Alright, let's get this right. That's good. Meanwhile, France has taken back everything. And we lose the stability. It's not ideal. Yeah, the issue with this whole, like, independent stack thing is that we're never gonna have enough infantry. Uh, but frankly, I don't... Ah, uh, 100% against you. I am looking forward to resting for a little bit. Siege of Zagreb has been lost. Which is the way of the world. Oh, truce with the Ottomans. Right, Ottomans, I just need two promises, man. Just, yeah, just be chill. The Briz, we still good, bro? Yeah, nice. Who are France even allied with that have only have 47%? Okay, Switzerland, Mulhouse, Cologne. You guys are pretty irrelevant. I'm gonna strap assault you, like, getting a stress headache. <laughs> Alright, where's Mulhouse? Mulhouse, I can't actually get to. I can, it's just through the mountains. Or I can just go around the mountains. That seems a little smarter. Cologne, you done? No? Okay. He's here. Where is the troops on? Okay, they're down there. Let's see Jamal House. 
I don't actually think I need Hena. I think that's, this is everything I need for France. I don't, I don't care about Cartagena. I'm getting dizzy from staring at this screen, man. It's late at night. I don't... I'm just gonna keep forging onwards, I suppose. I also need these islands from the Ottomans. That's so much more war score. All right. Let's go fight Adal. <laughs> I don't want these lands. More land taken. All right, you be on hand in North Africa because that's a problem area for us. You exist over there in the north. Can I get to his castle? I can. So we build way more manpower buildings. I'm going to look at the screen whilst it is. I don't need to. Right, we, I know we have enough money for it. <laughs> don't need you. Is there all of those areas? I don't think I need I think I just need essentially serve you up to the river. Man, it didn't, I'm struggling with this. Okay. I want to accidentally mess this up. So from here across to... Yeah, I think it's just these. We don't need Toronto. Did you just instantly win that siege? Okay, I need to upgrade my forts. <laughs> Especially when we find the coalition, like, that has to happen. I think that's everything. Gets the Hungarians that I need. First trip, we'll make sure there's a lake there. Don't anything, anything I need the lake. If I do to the right, yeah, we're good. I need all the Croatian stuff. Do I need silly? I don't. Okay, good. This should be all the stuff in the Balkans that I need apart from the Venetian lands. Okay, when's our truce up? 1600. Four years. Clean up those guys as quick as I can. Albania as well. Oh, that's going to be an issue. Oh, I can fight the Pope. Make sure I have claims. Then I fight the Pope. Fight the Albanians with the Pope. I have to fight the Bohemians and the Commonwealth. That's fine. This is why I have troops up here. Wait, where are my troops still right up here? As far as... That's why I stationed troops up here. It's not good when you have to have multiple scrolls to get to uh, the end of the rebel list. Oh, I didn't attack that army. That's a mistake. Just that, that, and that. Do you want to need against the Ottomans? <sighs> okay. Austrian separatists in Vienna. Deal with those now. Do we just nip in, deal with a couple of these? Oh, well, we're getting attacked. A lot of rebels up there, actually. White piece of dowel. Get them out of here. That's the 52%. And that's our last war against the Ottomans. Oh, I need to fight to Briz. Oh. Fine, I need to fight Mushasha anyways. So that's all the coalition. Okay. Um, I just need to make sure I can take out everyone who's not covered by a coalition. North Africa's a mess. Oh, I can fulfill a mission. I haven't done one of these in a while. Uh, I'm going to hire the independent army down here just to try and deal with all that. Yeah, it's quite a quite a hefty amount of rebels at this point. A healthy amount, so I might say. Uh, a rather worrying amount, others might also say. Another word you could use is uncontrollable. Ha, <laughs> jokes on you, didn't have any manpower to begin with, so I can't lose 60k. <sighs> Oh my god! This is not what I thought I'd be doing with my night tonight. I knew I wanted to record some Rome. Oh, oh, so many! <laughs> Alright, let's crack on. Hey, declare on Venezia. Uh, this one's taking a toll on me. <laughs> I fear I will never be the same again. I've split my army so many times and across so many different dimensions that I, I'm struggling to figure out where each one belongs. Uh, before we lose uh, to the Ottomans there. Go through. Okay. I don't think I have enough admin for all this. Not even close. Right, we need to gather our strength to strike against the coalition now. That's our next play. Why is it an independent island here? Yeah. Nope, the Anglican Zealots, don't worry about it. <laughs> Why are they mad? We are about to head into the next age, because I need to start revoking privileges. I did feel like I was fighting with one arm to hide behind my back. And in a sense, it was true, because there was that army in Adal just never came home. They've been sitting there the entire time. I hate myself. <laughs> Oh, Persian form, that's nice. Are they friendly to me? <laughs> God, no. The punishment is you have to go to Morocco and be stationed there. But why am I coring these things? That's like the whole point I had a client state for. Okay, just East Friesian provinces. And two more Austrian ones. One from Friesland. Uh, another couple from Venice. And then one from Tabriz. Ah, oh, it's a Persian one. Well, I mean, I got a truce with you, so no coalition. So I need to get one for 1606. France has managed to declare independence from French Columbia. Um, you know what? I'm not going to unpack that one. Do whatever they want with that. Oh, supply limit. Yes, please. I figured out a way to raise our force limit. Cool buildings. As our truce of Persia. Do this before they join any sort of coalition against us. I want to leave the coalition against me. Truce of the Ottomans has ended. I'm assuming they'll join the coalition. If they don't join, then maybe we've got a chance of breaking the coalition. They okay, legit just need this problem. I don't think we need anything else from you. Yeah, no. Cool. Pleasure doing business with you. Thanks for not kicking up a fuss. Like some others. Austria. France. Oh, well, they are joining coalition. Ah, the age of absolutism. Well, now we need to get this as high as possible. Unfortunately, we are a peasant republic, which means absolutism not going to happen. Enable scootage for my vassals, because it's time for us to challenge the coalition. I'm going to go after East Frisia, nice defensible territory. All right, it's time for us to plunge the world into chaos. The game lagged. That's how many people are joining this thing. All right, we need to stay super close to each other. Remember, main aim is to get in and get out, finish the war, whatever form that takes. What I mean by that is we want to break up this coalition into, into manageable chunks, right? So we can declare war on them later. 
There's that full back row of cannons that's going to win it for us. A lot of troops here, man. All right, we'll hit this lot here. Probably wish I'd scorch the earth now. I may have to take a loss there. Yeah. Didn't expect them to turn around and come back. Please win that, man. 78%. Oh, just come on. I'm tired, dude. I'm fighting this war. Okay, right. They'll give us the white piece. Okay, well, you can see uh, the losses were 500k for us and like 1.5 million for them. So we'll take that. Leaves us free to do this. I won't lie to you, lads. I lost any sense of fun in this campaign uh, about 50 years ago. <laughs> this, is, this is now a painful experience to try and get to the finish line. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't fare nearly as well as I thought I would in that coalition war. I thought I'd be a lot more effective than I actually was. I don't know if it's because I'm tired. Maybe I'm just bad at the game nowadays. Maybe I just lost my edge. Very, very disappointed in my performance. Almost all of our own professionalism. But we can finish off the most valuable of idea groups. That being uh, quantity. So the shock damage. You know another really fun thing? We're still not done. <laughs> These lands are too uh, expensive. And there goes our manpower. I'm gonna have to do something pretty heinous here. Do this to every single one. Make it to four, really? Yeah, there's one. All right, let's hand these provinces off. Actually, I don't need to hand those provinces off. It's nice to be able to actually station entire armies now and not suffer just frankly upsetting amounts of attrition, you know, for the most part. All right, situation remains the same. We go for the truce. We go for East Frisia. We hope people don't form a coalition against us considering uh, the amount of men we're fielding. You know, we hope. I can ally you, eh? Nah, they wouldn't do it. Dalwood, would. They've been in the coalition against me for donkey's years. How many troops do they have? Frizz. It's just, it's... I have to declare the wars that matter the most. So this one matters the most, I think. This one in Austria. I need two Austrian provinces still. Because I have to declare war against East Frisia twice. So I need the truce with them initially. I think it's just East Frisian's land. Yeah, it's just East Frisia. And there's that one province. I actually need to get a claim on them. Okay, there's the truces. Maybe okay, that's one more. Don't know why I didn't co-belligerent them. Aachen, Mulhaus, Mecklenburg. Okay. When exactly did I declare the war? I'm at war with the, em with the Emperor, so I can't declare war. Shame. Uh, Tabriz, though. Uh, I need to fight the Mamluks, and we'll split the coalition in half if I do it. So they'll they'll turn up at different times. Okay, we do that. It's a terrible place for his capital. Okay, I think I've done this right. May have not done it correctly, but I guess we'll find out. Albania. Another one I've got to do. So I think I'm pretty much at war with Europe again, but in lots of different uh, bouts. So I should be okay. The Austrians already joined a coalition. They are actually the only ones that haven't. That's rather surprising. Taking out the Pope. That's an unfortunate event during uh, the height of three wars. It's made a lot harder by the fact that I uh, can't get through Medina. See what happens going around Medina. That's just this war. There's there's so many other issues. <laughs> yeah, just quickly full annex the Pope. I'm fine over Tolsu. It's just... Like you were just walking past it. I think it's because Bessarabi is competing um, uh, for zone of control. All right, we need to take Tolsu back. We are getting there on all fronts. It's just, it is just taking a little while. Okay, I can start piecing people out of this East Frisia war at least. That appears an unconditional surrender from the Albanians. Very good. Oh, that's a good catch. I don't feel comfortable attacking this until this stacks here. On Tolsu, just stay alive. Okay, we push onwards, chaps. We push onwards. Declare a few more wars over here. Kind of necessary. Please leave these wars. Okay, finally you'll leave. 99% against East Frisia. That gives us almost everything we need. <sighs> okay, now send you there, you there. And we're gonna need some more war score against the Mamluks. I've occupied them several times over, but to get everything we need, we're gonna have to occupy some other people as well. Um, let's rid of Brandenburg. What are 2,000 Ajaranis? Why? We took Reams. The second I left the front, it all collapsed. Like negative 10 now. Take back Reams and a few other places. We should be fine. Why is the Commonwealth in Arabia? <sighs> oh, how long has this war been going on for? Seven years. Don't take Vienna again, man. There goes Vienna once more. Fine, we should be able to get it back immediately. Oh, that's convenient. Dijabreski, that's another couple of percent. It's all adding up, chaps. 39, I think we need like 42 or something. Negative three. 40. <gasps> Okay, let's try to make sure. Is that everything? I think that's the eastern front done. Okay, that's that done. I'm not looking forward to all of these rebels. Oh my god, he's just tear- Munster just torn me apart. Yeah, no more slack and recruiting standards available. We're in for a bit of a rough time. Okay, what, what's left? Let's think. What is left? Not many provinces. Yeah, just a couple. We actually don't need that one from Venice. So we need to integrate our two vassals. What, one, two, three, four, five, six provinces. We are six. Six provinces away. Didn't even realize my camera had stopped recording. That's fine. I've realized now. Six provinces. Just six. 
goddamn province. I've never seen a stack that big before on one province. Usually they split it up into two or three. All right, here come the rebels. Wish we were a bit better place than last time to deal with them. Last time was just horrible. This time they should come piecemeal. We don't have anything in North Africa, do we? Just having guys all over the place. Okay, so remember when I said they were coming one at a time and then they immediately all spawned at the same time? Yeah, that's that's not fun. You can just win the siege, like you don't know screw it. Just assault, just get it done. Oh boy! All right, let's uh, let's grab some mercenaries. <laughs> I, I didn't think I'd have to do this, but here we are. Oh, uh, let me think for a sec. I need to fight Austria before any of the truces are up. Because if I wait too long, I'm gonna be in the same issue as I had before. This truce, 42. Wait a little bit, but really not that long. Um, I'm gonna do it and hope that my rebels take out some of the Austrians. Okay. I need these two provinces. Go straight for his capital, please. I hate this. <laughs> Rule Italy. It's new. Golden Century would be very, very useful right now. Like, I decided just to not form Spain. Okay, dealing with rebels. That's fine. You need to go and help that. Okay, look, Austria, buddy. Just need two provinces, okay? Work with me. Work with me. I'm not a bad. That's 70,000 English. There aren't that many Englishmen in England at the moment. Oh. Okay, what problems do I need? Just those two, buddy. 25%. I can get 25%. Easy. No worries. Yeah, I'm very vulnerable in the middle here. Don't you dare kill my, uh, don't you dare kill my boys. Okay. Oh, my stack wipe. Oh, Christ. Yeah, they're, gonna, they're really dangerous in northern France right now. Go there. You go there. Where are you going? Stop moving. Okay. My commentary just consists of mm K. Like all of this is gonna get cut because I'm just constantly going mm K. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. K. I'm just muttering sweet nothings to myself just to try and reassure myself that everything's okay. When everything is not okay, how we're still making money, I don't know. It's only 17 ducats, but still. Lost the siege of Ferrara. It's okay. Ferrara wasn't important to me. Fine. Everything's fine. Fine, fine, fine. We're good. Doesn't help that we're just not taking any forts. You, statistically, you'd, you'd think that would happen at, at least a couple of times, but nah. And the game decides to just prove me wrong immediately. Man, Austria's really pushing into Italy. Please don't let them win anymore. Okay, they immediately win Calais. Uh, we're in London. Wait, when did I lose London? I set up an army to go and destroy them. Oh my god. Also, my strategy of having them deal with my rebels has really not paid off. They haven't attacked a single rebel army. Um, it's been nothing but inconvenient to me, specifically, but no one else. Okay, I think we should take this fort, we should be done. 21% has the 21%. I think that's all we need. Please, God tell me I'm right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's dealt with as well. Five more provinces, I think. One, two, three. Roman needs to be in a state. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm thinking we truce break it. We're gonna have to do two truce breaks. Um, I think we do it now. Well, well like, how, now that I've dealt with the majority of my... We're gonna suck. Truce by one, because we're also gonna uh, immediately truce break after that as well. Look, just give up Zealand, man. Just do it. Just do it. Oh, state, where's... Ah, oh, there's more troops over here. Fine, we've got 50k spare. Another 45k, it's ready. And another 50k, that should be able to challenge in the east. Take out this lot up here. You go and fight Friesland's actual army. Not only really much peace is there. It's like it's like Napoleon, but if Napoleon stretched across like a century at this point, or what feels like, I feel like I've aged at least a century. Perhaps there's been more. I wouldn't know. <laughs> I have no concept of time. It's 4 a.m. <laughs> We're gonna have to do this war again. That's the upsetting thing. Of course, he took Vienna in 103 days. Why would he not? Hey, I want to see your trap. Four men. I'm concerned about Sardinia. Do you think I can sneak my ships around? I'll give it a shot. All right, let's just keep massacring the Bohemians, even though we're gonna have to do that again and again and again. Just 12% will do it. Just 12%. Just need a couple more wars. Hold on to what we got. Or battles, I mean, not wars. We still, well, we still have a couple more wars, to be fair. Just one, theoretically. Are we being sieged anywhere? Ragusa, that's gonna be dealt with. So no. Sardinia's being dealt with. Fine on that front. So uh, I can win this war. If I do one thing, because apparently I didn't declare the war for uh, for Zealand. I declared it for colony of the Bahamas. I need to send the free colony, to the free company to the Bahamas, and they need to somehow get there. I was told to be lost in, in a matter of minutes. Then, oh, legends! Oh my god, they did it! They actually did it. Okay, that's Zealand done. All right, last war. There we go. Take Rethel. Probably our smallest war that we fought this entire campaign. Get rid of internal conflicts. I've actually probably had the potential to dis dismount the empire. I probably should have done, but I'm brain dead, so I didn't think of that. This is back in Prague. That's right, it's us. Well, bring back the heroes. Maybe they can do it again. Uh, yeah, come back to the... Bring back some other guys. What's they take Vienna? 
Vienna is a, a miserable place. It's just constantly sieged and resieged. Each Prague is done once more. All right, just keep on moving, lads. The grind does not stop today. It wiped out an entire army. Ah, I'm losing it, lads. This is why I don't do these kinds of videos. This is why I shouldn't ever say, hey guys, we're gonna form the Roman Empire because it's fun, right? Because it's fun initially. Initially, it's fun. And I'm having a great time. And then I get to this stage of the game. And I'm wondering why, I, like, this is my job. You know, and I start having a, an existential crisis as to what I'm doing with my life and who I am. It's, it's 4 a.m. and I'm sitting here screaming about Rome in a video game. Like, what, what is this? What am I doing? Weirdly enough, people are leaving coalitions against me. Another army wiped out because I didn't pull out in time. I was dealing with our manpower issue, I suppose. I don't care about tactics anymore. Just march through, wipe them out systematically. I don't need too many more bits and pieces of war score now. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. I need Cyprus and uh, and the knights. Am I missing anything else? Just Cyprus and the knights, right? Nothing around here. Nope. Okay, just Cyprus and the knights. Okay, that's fine. Of course, the Mamluks are there. You're in the coalition against me, so I don't want to fight that. Let's just let's just do it. Just don't think. Just do it. Siege of Vienna has been lost. Pale as old as time. Oh, I just had 45,000 men just chilling over here. Probably should have been using them. Siege of Rhodes is done. Could mean I could be, I could, I could take you soon. All right, we're good. We're good. We're plodding along. I don't know what Constance is doing. I'm gonna thorn on my side this entire game. Take him out. A white piece of the Mamluks because frankly, I don't care. I'll take you. Why not? Okay, they've unconditionaled. Take Cyprus. That should be all the land we need. Rome to be in a state. Basically, everyone's joining coalition against me. That's fine. I don't need any evil lands anymore. Don't attack me and we're all good. I'm actually starting to start gaining manpower again. Please don't attack me. Ah, uh, it's coming up on 200 years. When I started this game as a fresh-faced youth, didn't know what I was getting into. Making wild promises about a communist Roman empire. I've not even made a single reference to the fact we're a federal republic slash peasant republic slash whatever you want to call us. You are seeing the limits of my humanity. There's Byzantium. There is only one left. Now I should, this is what I saved up for, get rid of the annexation annex subject thing. There you go, perfect. Literally whatever you want, just pass it. It's a useful event. That's a very useful event, giving us plus 50 opinion. I'm really struggling to keep my eyes open now. I think I can take a nap and come back and it'll be done. I don't want to risk anything bad happening. Just if the coalition declares war, it might be an issue. I'm going to go to the bathroom and come back to probably what is going to be a horrific mess. All right, I'm back. What happened? Ruler died. Any rebels? Revolts? Like one guy's careful. A bit late for that. How a struggle of the Ottoman Empire? We've been waiting for that all game. All right, well, let's let's take a moment to look around, shall we? Now that we can see most of the world. So Japan's a thing. That's cool. UA ex like it's exploded into the scene, taking most of the old Ming lands. Oh, Janissary coup. Must be not really doing too much. Did they lose a war recently to the Commonwealth? It doesn't look like they have. Hmm. Okay. I dread to say it, but let's take a look at the new world. Uh, New Castile has been eaten by British Mexico. Um, yeah, the new world is almost entirely British. There's not really anything else to it, apart from Castilian Brazil, La Plata. We've kind of, there are, there are no competitors. I mean, I could also technically annex the British and steal their uh, their people. How did you get hold of this? They don't have exploration ideas. What, what did you nick this off? I'm trying to click on this province, but I can't. There are two people, okay. Yeah, did it belong to anyone else at any point? Castile, Castilian culture, annexed by Aragon. Oh, right, I uncolonize it, yeah. Adopted Somali culture, sure. Flipped for some reason 20 years ago. Okay, would. Look, no one do anything rash. I've kicked your asses up and down this entire time. Don't try anything stupid. In fact, why are we, why are we risking it? You know? Why are we risking it? Build 700,000 men. No move, all right? I got howitzers now, 700,000 men. I alone have almost as many troops as all of you combined, all right? So let's not don't do anything rash. How did I not go? How did I not get manufactories? Who else? Who else has manufactories apart from me? It's every one of my promises that had... Oh, you know what? Okay. Still making 60 ducats a month and boss being 200,000 over your force. Limit. Nice and calm, Lathe. Nice. You'll don't feel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, government reform. Question of dictatorship. Federal states. Enables parliament. Already have that. Reinforce Republican values. Kind of useless. Executive powers. Maximum absolutism. Probably is what we want. What's the Great Powers list looking like? Well, it's us. And then it's Britain, obviously. Uh, Commonwealth, UA, Austria, Bohemia... Like, it really goes off of a cliff when you go past UA. 96%, oh my god, it's gonna happen. Just waiting for the fact that, like, my game's gonna crash or something horrible is gonna happen. Yeah, influence them, I don't care. It's a decision that just popped up. Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a communist 
Roman Empire. It may say the Peasant Republic has been abolished, but it hasn't. We've still got a res publica. Oh, hi. We have Roman ideas. It's beautiful. We have Roman culture. And most importantly, we finished this entire saga. I think in recognition of my efforts, you, you have to be liking and subscribing on this one, chaps. This is uh, a communist Roman Empire. I finally formed the Roman Empire in a video. I'm never doing that again. I hated it. Uh, the first two videos were fun. The third one got iffy. This one was miserable. Forget we started out as Aragon, immediately went to Peasant Republic and spread across. That's the end of the first video right there. That was probably the most fun I had in EU for in a while. That is the end of the second video. All right, uh, then we have the start of the video today. God, it was a long time on this one. There it is, Aragon into the Roman Empire. If you did enjoy, please do make sure to like and subscribe, chaps. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, I'll see you all next time. Bye. Huge shout out to my patrons. Most importantly, Redguard76, Lewis Wright, Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JDow52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. This support means a lot, guys. Also here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there. Just just click.